All right, hi, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. Y'all said it, y'all spoke about it, and now it's happening. You wanted something different? Well, here's something different. I'm leaving. How about them apples? Piece of crap. Alright, before we start this episode, we are doing a contest. We are giving away this figure. We actually have it. It's not something fake that we're making up. So It's real and it's here. So feel free to enter the contest because as of right now, um, the one person that enters, you have a pretty good chance of you winning. You have a 100% chance of winning right now. Yeah, right now. You're guaranteed to win. When's the contest end? On the 24th. On the 24th. So... so. Do you know, enter by the twenty third? And tell all your your friends if you couldn't find this awesome Bastille Sean figure in stores, now you have get a chance to get it for free. We'll mail it to you for free. You don't have to pay a penny for it. All you have to do is do some um, creative um, editing of a few pictures, and they would have to be good. I mean, I mean you could use like could uh, Microsoft Paint or something, and just like do some scribbles on. It on could the honestly picture. be the same picture with something written on my jacket. Yeah, something something clean. Yeah, it could just it could be Facebook. it could be Matt's face with like Jedi written across his forehead or something. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Perfect. I'll yeah. take it. I'll take it. I mean, it defeats the spirit of the competition. But uh, at this point, I'm just really not going to be picky about no, it. No, we're I just really desperate. We, we we just want at least one or two people to enter the contest. It's going worse than we ever could have imagined. Yep. So, hey, fella, our lady out there, how about making yourself a little toy by making a cool picture of me? Yep. Yeah. That's right. Go to uh, atomicmartians.com slash p slash contest dot html to enter. Is that really the address? I think so. Well, I'm pretty sure. It, it's scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. So if I was wrong, then that's crazy. Just read it all across the bottom of the screen. <laughs> all right, let's review some shit. Let's talk about some toys. Yep. All right, throw that contest goodie away. So, first up on our review deck, we got Serapis. And Jason, can you tell us a little bit about this character? I don't know anything about this fucking character. Well, let me <laughs> let me enlighten you about this character. All right, peon. Peasant. I haven't made it to that season of uh, Clone Wars yet. Let me tell you about Serapis here. Serapis is a bounty hunter, if you didn't know. And this bounty hunter actually helps Felucians protect their crops from pirates. Ah. Much, much like farmers during the Civil War, their gardens being raided by hungry people. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like the, the garden, the crops are uh, humans, and um, they're getting eaten by zombies. Does that make sense? No. doesn't no. matter. It's my last episode. So, um, anyways, about this guy, because I know stuff. He's you a hunter. What? what do you know? I know, I know some stuff. Stuff. Okay. I know some very wonderful stuff here, Chef. We're going to talk about this here fellow Sharpish from Star Wars. All right. Yeah. So, he is a uh, little guy sitting inside... A big guy. Yep. A little guy and a big guy. Yeah. And we're not talking about Matt's se sex life. We're talking about an action <laughs> figure. And, uh, yep, he's pretty B.A. At least he looks like it. What do you think? I think he looks cool. I, I mean, really hope. You, you look at the figure in the package and you're like, wow, that's a gigantic looking um, Egyptian looking guy. And But then you look over here and you see this little, little, um, little I don't know. Fella? Yeah, this little fella. Here and then you look on the back and it, it has a picture of the little fella and the gigantic fella, and um, uh, that's pretty cool because the little fella gets to walk around like he's all big and bad he when the, he's really not. Exactly, he's got the ultimate little man syndrome. You know, he's always got a feeling he does, he's bigger yeah. than else. Mm -hmm. It's uh, he's basically the Star Wars version of the uh, dude from Men in Black. You know, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And Ahsoka told him that he doesn't have to look tough to be tough. Is that what she said? That's what it was. That's what it says right here. That's what she says. Well, she's dumb. Yeah, yeah, she's stupid. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I'm I'm kind of tired of looking at this figure in package. I I think I, I think you can't stand it. it. I can't stand it. The anticipation's I need to, building. Let's do it. Yeah, it's about ready to explode and burst all over the place. Yeah, all in your face. Let's do it. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, we got the figure out package, and of course he comes with this piece of shit dice. And we're gonna throw that away. Booyah! Hey, you rolled, I don't give a damn. Yep. There you go. So, this guy, um, kind of crazy, he's got his little sniper rifle here, which, judging from the size, I'm like, why do you even need that? You just walk up and, like, punch somebody in the face, you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, he's gotta be well equipped. On the side here, he's got this little saw that pops out of his wrist, and on the other side... Yeah, it's actually cool, it's a cool effect. Yeah, yeah it, um, it pops out, uh, on the, you kind of press this, like, press it on the one side and it pops out on this side, but he has, like, a flamethrower and he has a little saw blade, but then it just pops right back in if you don't want it exposed. Oh, I like that. Bow. I didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's the advantage. Well, it's kind of difficult box. difficult to get out. Sometimes you have to kind of push something in there to push it out. So. Wedge it out. Just kind of yeah. in a you know firefight there, in a vicious firefight, that's not going to work at all. This guy would be dead. Yeah. Well, I would assume that they just come out like automatically. automatically. Well, that's where they get you. As we haven't watched the episode yet, we don't know for sure. Yeah. It'd be kind of dumb if he has to, like, press on... He has thing. to climb out and pry it out and <laughs> back in. Yeah. That would defeat the purpose that of would... the uh, suit, I think. Yeah, well... Hey, nobody said he was smart. <coughs> At least I don't really know. Yeah. Anywho, so yeah, he's got the cool gun, and he looks pretty... I mean, I think he looks kind of intimidating with it. It's just really funny. It's so big, and, you know, he's so big. He's yeah, like, he looks like um, he's a a straight-out Stargate, like he walked through, just walked through one of the portals in Stargate. Yeah, he's already speaking Egyptian and writing in hieroglyphs or something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, go figure. Star Wars ripped something off. Yeah, yeah big surprise there. Yeah. <laughs> um, he does have some cool paint de uh, decal or paint effects. I like it. Yeah. With the feathers on his arm. And yeah, it gives, him like, it gives him a nice like, kind of weathered look like he's been, you know, dinged up a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. You know, it's kind of, um, some dirt it's like war paint almost. Like yeah. a lot of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and yeah, it just looks really cool. I'm not exactly sure what all the markings are for, but it looks really good. And there's some detailing around his feet here. Like he's been, you know, just drudging through a bunch of crap mm -hmm. or something on his way to go shoot something. Yeah, the gun's kind of weak, also. The gun. Well, how it fit, the gun looks nice, but how it fits in his hand looks like shit. Yeah, it's really. It looks like it's about to break his hand. I mean. Yeah, it's um, his hands are way too big for holding something like that. Um, they really should have um, used thing, a different gun, maybe with a different handle, so it's easier yeah. to grip. Maybe give him a sword or something instead. A sword, know. yeah, sword would have been awesome Sailor. too. Yeah, that'd be beast, you know. Yeah. How many guys? How many guys are successful? It's Star Wars. Yeah. It's Star Wars. Why don't you give him a lightsaber? Oh, no. You can't give him a lightsaber. I mean, who has a lightsaber? Freaking everybody. Yeah. You know, random Mandalorian dudes walking around with black lightsabers that don't look like any other lightsaber ever made. Yep. Whatever. Um, let me take a look at him here. Um, I do like the little guy in the cockpit. I think he's really cool. I mean, obviously, he has no articulation. He's just sitting... Sitting like he's been sitting on the toilet for too long. <laughs> he's just, you know, like hiding in his little bomb shelter of a suit here. Yeah. yeah. And that has to be uncomfortable after sitting yeah. like that for a while. What about the detail in the cockpit? How's that looking? It looks pretty good. I mean, it definitely has a couple different different color paint apps, and it's kind of brown in there, but there's little, not a whole lot whole lot going on in there. command center of a chair. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm guessing he uses those to uh, to move the arms and legs and stuff of yeah. the figure. So, of the... The, you know his mechanized vehicle yeah. or whatever I like the fact that they made him removable so you can actually take him in and out like he's mm -hmm. not in there I mean he doesn't have any posability so it's not like you can do anything with him but you can take him out it makes it a little bit more realistic yeah. as opposed to just making a figure that you know the head pops open and he's kind of stuck in there yeah it makes it look a little better yeah um, decent articulation especially for a figure the size his arm yeah. has has a bunch of articulation you can pretty much put it in any position you possibly want um, he does have, um, I was just doing this a second ago, but he does have um, kind of a rib, rib cage twist. Uh, his legs are kind of shoddy, though. That's the only thing yeah. I don't like. The They're, feet aren't, you can't really do anything with his feet. He has that nice, he's got the swivel joint at the knee, and on top of that, it's also um, yeah. <clears throat> just your standard knee joint where he moves back and forth. But his feet don't move around or anything, yeah. so you and, have to be careful as to how you're going to pose and when, him. And when you finally do get him posed, he kind of has like a bow look to him, like his, leg, his legs are bowed yeah. out. Like it it looks kind of weird, yeah. So it looks like he's taking a grumpy. He's a grumpy robot. Urgh. Dropping some robot kids off at the robot pool. Yeah. So. Which isn't very safe. No, not at all. It's a lot of electronics. If you have robot children... It's a, it's a huge waste of... Uh, don't ever put them in water. No. No. Huge waste of money. That's a, that's our PSA for the, the for the episode. Robot kids can't swim, they'll die. Yeah. And they that's might take fact. other people with them. It depends on how much electricity Most likely. They, it's just negligent. Generate. Grossly negligent. So, yeah. you know. Don't do it. Well, let's wrap this up. I mean, he's, he's a decent looking figure. He looks awesome. Know. If yeah. you like the look, I mean, I'm sure I would care a lot more if I knew more about this character. Yeah. Um, but fortunately, I don't. 
But he looks BA. Like, honestly, he'll look really cool with your Star Wars dash, Stargate, you know, like, if, that's the best thing. If you don't like Star Wars, but you love Stargate, pick this figure out. Yeah. It'll fit right in. I like the novelty of it. I mean, he's just not just like your typical, like, gigantic robot looking guy. I mean, he, he he's unique because he has this little, little weird looking dude in there. And you can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, that's right. That's right. There's a moral to this character. Yeah. There's something to learn. From this, the, from this character. I may not be 100% sure what that is, mm-hmm. but I know it's there. If you're really short and small, just mm-hmm. get a gigantic robot exoskeleton to walk around. Yeah, in. and people will totally look at you differently. Mm-hmm. Well, really, they're not looking at you. They're looking at your giant robot suit. But it's the same principle. Yeah, it is. Next! That was big. That thing is massive. It is huge. It's if you can't tell from this distance, it's Colossus. A yeah. whole lot of Colossus. A whole lot of it. He's he's ready to pump some iron mm-hmm. with his metal arms. And jack you up. So. Up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about this figure a little bit here. What company made this figure, Jay? Made by the one and only Marvel Select. Mm-hmm. And what scale is this figure? I don't know. Well, it's bigger than six inch. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Seven inch. Well, he's much bigger than seven. He's probably like an eight inch figure, I'd say. Yeah, but I would say. But he, he's supposed he, to be in that kind of seven inch scale. Seven inch scale, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how that breaks down as far as like, well, six inch is like what? One. One twelve or something? I think so. So it's probably like one eighth. Or, I don't know. I'm, I'm retarded. Marvel Select's matter. always a little bit bigger. That's yeah. all we know. That's all we care about. Just like me, Marvel Select is always a little bit bigger. If you guys don't know who Colossus is, quit living under a rock. Uh, he is... That doesn't matter. He's Peter Rasputin. He's a Russian exchange student at the you know X-Men school. You know That's kind of what it breaks down mm-hmm. as. And uh, he's big, and he's beefy, and he works out all the time. And when he feels like it, he can turn into this metal freak here. Yeah, why, why <clears> even <throat> use his real form, though? That's what I don't understand. Why don't you just walk around with, as a metal freak all the time? I don't know. Because uh, obviously the look works for him. Yeah. Everybody likes it. And he looks cool in normal clothes. Um, maybe yeah, it's but like he's still going to kill him in his sleep, though. That's true. They can't kill him like this. Maybe it's like, uh, maybe it's like a muscle. Like, you know, you have to think about using it. You have to flex it, it. yeah. Yeah, and uh, he can't flex it forever, I'm mm-hmm. sure. Well, if he's a teenager, I'm sure he could flex it for a long time. Anyway. Uh, um, well, there's not a whole lot of this packaging. I mean, it definitely has some Marvel Select stuff. Um, one thing I always like about the Marvel Select packaging is the side. So if you, if you display your figures or you want to put them on a bookshelf or something like that, you just kind of line them up and it has like this... Uh, the picture of their face or whatever their profile kind it's of kind of like the, the spine side. of a book yeah it is yeah, it looks kind um, of cool. on the back it, it shows the uh, the Gambit and the Cyclops figure and a couple months ago we reviewed the Gambit figure but we haven't gotten the Cyclops yet um, other than that I don't know it has a cool picture of uh, one of the comics and it has a little bio about uh, Colossus there and that's it I mean you pretty much if you've seen one Marvel Select package you've Seen them all. all. So uh, this just came out too. This is uh, part of their 2011 releases. So I think so he's... happy that we got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that uh, you found this today. I was. It was. I wasn't expecting it when you mentioned that yeah. you were picked it up. Pure so. happenstance. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Walked Our, to the uh, local comic shop and there he was. It actually came through. We didn't have to pre-order it or anything like that. Nope. And usually when we do pre-order something, it takes like three months it's after still, the release yeah, to come out. Yeah, it takes three months after everybody else gets it for it to show up. Yep. So let's get this bad boy open and check him out. <clears throat> All right. We got Colossus here out of package mm-hmm. and ready to kick some ass. Yep. And ready to take up like an extremely large amount of space on the table. Yeah. So here he is. The, Boom. The figure itself is... Uh, it's pretty freaking sweet. I mean, it's a Marvel Select figure, so it's meant to be more of a, a display piece and statue-esque. You know, put him in one pose and leave him there. Um, then it's supposed to, you know, be played with like the Marvel Legends figures. But honestly, 
for what he's made for. I think he's got a great amount of articulation. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's got a ball jointed head, so he can, you know, swivel all around. His uh, shoulders go up, down, and around. And then also he's got a swivel at the bicep, which I really enjoy, especially coming from the Marvel Select figure. And then, of course, a right angle at the elbow. His uh, fists swivel around, and then you can also move them back and forth. However, Works. on this one, the left fist is a little bit stuck, so we're just going to leave it there for now. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to break them. No. He does have some ab crunch and uh, rib crunch and everything like so that. He's going to work those or, obliques or, later. Oh, yeah, yeah, side to side. Um, it, he doesn't have any waist articulation, so he doesn't have um, waist spinning. Um, the articulation, I think, is kind of awkward and, and weird is his leg articulation. Um, it's kind of difficult to get his legs to move out too far without it just being like crossed. And or if he if they're too far in, they look really awkward, or he's like awkwardly standing. Yeah. So you have to kind of fiddle with them to get them in a, a correct pose. He does have L. knee articulation goes up and down, and he does have calf um, articulation where his calf's spin. right in the middle of the calf. Yep. And, but it's not very noticeable though. No, I mean, not if really. it, as long it's as it's not red. yeah, as long <laughs> as it's not uh, as long as you have it lined up pretty pretty close, it, it doesn't. There's yeah. not a lot of clipping. Or anything. Yeah. Um. His feet do, does have really good articulation. He actually does have side to side swivel, and of course they go up and down as well. Do that side to side one more time. Look at oh, that. That. he sprained his ankle going for the football. Ow. No, no, no. No more radishes for you, ready. Good thing he's part of the American healthcare system now. Yeah. Ding. Um, a couple, I mean, overall the paint job looks great. There isn't a ton of detail to him though. There's not a lot of shading or anything. There's a little bit, some of his line, his, uh, metal lines are filled in a little bit, but not much. Mm -hmm. Um, and one thing I don't like about his paint job is I don't like how his eyes are white with the silver face. Um, it makes it difficult to see his eyes. I, I mean, I like like how it looks, but it definitely makes his eyes not very. They visible. don't stand out very. They much. don't stand out very much. It also so. depends on which, like, who draws or who colors the character in the comic books as to whether they'll be white or sometimes they're all silver. Yeah, um, I like it both ways. Yeah, the figure that is. Well, I don't know. I mean, you want to talk about the details a little bit? Yes, I. Um, his crotch area does look pretty profound. Though. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that he has got a dick and balls, <laughs> most likely on this. He one. has a pretty, pretty um, protruding package there. Yeah, and uh, I, that's all I need to say about that. And one. that's the only thing I'm going to notice for the rest of this review. I can't. I'm going to turn around so I don't keep staring at it. <laughs> uh, one thing that Jason here mentioned to me that I noticed was the uh, top section here on the costume actually comes off so you can have like a half shirtless Colossus which is pretty cool um, that being said I think it's very interesting that the, instead of doing the skin tight costume um, they actually put some good detail with the wrinkles on the back and especially on the front yeah yeah looks very good but also you know when it, the top piece is here on the character when it's actually sitting on the character it does look kind of awkward it looks like it's stiff, sticking off really far from the front. Yeah, especially right there where his rib cage is. Yeah, it just kind of shoots yeah. out a little further. But I mean, hey, I think it's cool. You could have like uh, you could have him in a battle damage pose against Magneto or something. Yeah, very cool. Um, on the detail for everything, I think they did a really great job sculpting. The line works very clear. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like you you mentioned that there was a little bit of shading in there, not a whole lot. No. I mean, no. you can, it's it's a silver paint job. You kind of let the natural lighting do the, the work on yeah. it. Um, I really like it. What I really like are the me the metallic effects here on the armbands. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just sent those. Yeah. Small, but they kind of stand out a little detail. bit because everything else is more of a, uh, a matte red. Yeah. But uh, they're very... It's Isn't a that... much darker red. It's yeah. more of a crimson. Yeah, I like it. That's what I gotta say. Mm -hmm. That's my piece. Well, of here's his accessory. Here too. is his freaking sweet his Iron bed. Maiden like, yeah. So if if Colossus ever needs to take a nap, you can just cuddle up on this thing. Like we were talking earlier, why do you just oh. stay metal all the time? Training, my friend. Oh. He's doing it. He's working on it. Trying to get to all metal all the time. Okay. In all seriousness, this is part of the Danger Room playset. Yes. It's supposed to, I guess. You're just supposed to press it against like one of the walls that came with either Gambit or Cyclops or whatever. So you can have Colossus. I don't know, doing bench presses off of it or something. 
I yeah. do push-ups standing up. You punch it. Yeah. The, um, it's a cool looking bit. It's, a it's cool, cool looking, looking, but I don't really you know, see it. Without some of the other characters, if you just buy Colossus by himself, what the fuck are you going to use that thing? I know. Absolutely nothing. No. Honestly, like, we pulled out a package, like, this thing is stupid. That's the dumbest yeah. accessory we've ever seen. Oh, There's smash. a lot of detail, but it's like, what a freaking waste. We're going to put all this, like, detail and paint and plastic into a stupid freaking wall. Yeah. That, honestly, without the other characters, doesn't work. It looks dumb just hanging out by itself. I mean, yeah. put it on the table sitting up again, please. Yeah. It looks stupid like that. It's really dumb like that. And just, it just, how do you make that look good? You could do some serious damage to someone's face with it, though. He totally you could. could. smash somebody with Maybe it. Maybe it's like those, like, things they use uh, in football to practice tackling with. Yeah. Like, he just gets behind it and starts pushing. If you want to harden your knuckles, you can punch it. Yeah. Punch it on. Duh. Duh, duh, they're bleeding, duh. Uh, yep. I'm sorry, I keep making him Austrian. But it's the only thing I know. <laughs> Alright. We're not here to do impressions, folks. No. We're here to review toys. Toys. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. So quit judging us for it. So overall, what do you what do you think? I mean, I I, I personally think he's a solid figure. I think, I think he's a solid buy, really. Mm -hmm. um, for twenty two bucks, that's not really Amazing representation of the character. He'll look totally kick-ass with your Marvel Select or Marvel Legend figures. Yeah. Or throw him into your DCU pile and see who comes out, you know, winning in that fight. Oh, he, he would dominate. He would destroy all those little bitches. And he would make the women his forever. Mm -hmm. He'd be his concubine. gigantic metal rod of a penis. That right there. Face just Right there, so you just at stare him. at it. Just stare at it. Look at it. You know you want to. But yeah, all in all, this is a great fish. Shit. When he stands up. Yeah, when he stands up. He's been drinking too much. There you go. Well, Matt, I'm sorry that uh, this this lackluster dull episode was your last, but really, you know, I don't it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me either. I honestly could I, I first saw this coming. You know, mm -hmm. I had a dream. The first episode, I told myself afterwards. When I leave that show, it is going to be dull. Yeah. And and we've we've maintained a consistent level of dullness ever since that first episode. It's been wonderful. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm excited for you two, you and Jay. Uh, because, well, I'm really excited for myself because I can just wash my hands of this whole thing and just, you know, clean slate. That's all right. I have plenty of, um, of awkward... Videos that I could blackmail you with. So, there you go. It makes it that much better. So, I've enjoyed doing the show. I obviously love talking about toys. That's why we started the whole thing together. Um, so, I love talking about toys, and it's been a blast, and I've enjoyed it. But not enough to do the show anymore. Not enough to do the show anymore. I love toys, but not not that much. No. Not, Apparently not. not. Not as much as you would think. I would do anything for Shut up, Jay! Life, <laughs> but he won't do that. I won't, I won't do that. So, on that note, um, thanks everybody, and stay tuned for what, next week, I guess? Next week. Next week. We have a mystery host. A new, new mystery host, host. To take my spot. Let's see if he fills the shoes. Yes. If he fills the cup. Fills the shoes. See if we can fill his mouth. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> we had out right in time. Well, hopefully you've been training them well to take, over, take your place. So, there you go. Alright. Well, it's been fun. High five. High five. Cue the, uh, cue the uh, sad music. I've lived a life that's full And he and of the highway I loved much more than this I did it
Rock, Rock, Rock.